Wade Paquin with the Build Show Network. Today we're back at the Versatech facility. We're with John Pace again. We're looking at the uh, trim board extruder line today. If you saw on our channel, we did an episode here doing a full plant tour, talking about how the product is made and the materials that go into the product. If you've seen it, great. If you've not, go check it out. The material that's coming into this extruder, John, the compound, if you will, is coming down through these uh, pipes or tubing here yeah. into the extruder. Walk us through what the extruder does with that compound. All right, so you have three components that are coming together at the extruder. You have your compound, as you mentioned. You have your foaming agent, which is like baking soda and cake. And then you have your regrind. And those three ingredients go into the throat of the extruder. And picture that, and it's all really a solid. It's powder and pellets, basically. Picture that going from that form into taffy, silly putty. That's what it turns into. Then it goes through the extruder, vacuum to pull out impurities into what's called a sheet, uh, a sheet die, which is like a coat hanger die, and out the extruder. When it comes out the extruder, that's, that's very key. Again, going back to the whole analogy of a cake mix. You take a cake out of the oven, what happens to it? As it cools, it falls. As it comes out of the extruder, that product's 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, all of a sudden, it's going to go through a series of rolls and cool. As it's cooling, it's going to compress because the cells are trying to resist it, but they're going to shrink a little bit. The art, if I'm making a three-quarter inch sheet, I want that three-quarter inch sheet to be plus or minus 20 thousandths of an inch. So I've got to figure out, oh, very tight. It's the tightest in the industry. Now, how do I figure out my thickness to guarantee after about 200 yards, I'm going to be at that thickness. That's the, that's the art behind the process. After it exits the extruder, it goes through some cooling rolls, air cooled down the conveyor, cut into boards, and onto a skid. Can you walk us through the line? Sure, let's do that. All right, Wade, so now we're at the line. What we have here is our extruder. So picture inside this extruder, two screws counter-rotating in opposite direction, taking that powder, the regrind, and the foaming agent, and blending it into a taffy. As it processes through, the screw geometry changes, goes to a process of removing all the impurities in the vacuum. This is the final stage of the screws that does the final mixing of the material before it gets to the sheet die. And at the sheet die, which is the co-hanger die, the material has to go from this little nozzle and spread out over about 57 inches. Another art in the whole process. It then goes into pre-cooling rolls, into the calendar roll stack. This is part of that art of getting the exact thickness plus or minus 20 thousandths of an inch. Also, when you have done this for enough years, your trained eye can see about a 32nd of an inch across that roll stack right there. Very simple to do. The lights have a lot to do with it. When it comes out of the extruder, it's about 400 Fahrenheit. When it gets to the roll stack, it's probably still somewhere upper twos to 300. So it's, it's almost like pushing on a marshmallow. So you've got a 50 inch or so wide, basically roll of taffy at this point, it looks very level and flat across the top. That's coming out and then it's hitting this long run here, which is where the product gets cooled. Yes, and it's all air cooled. You don't blow air out, you don't put water out, you just let it air cool down there. And as you, if you like to see here, we talked about the taffy and here, you can see that it's still like a marshmallow. I don't want to touch the surface, but I can touch that other edge. Because we're going to trim it. F57 is going to become 48, 48 in a fraction. It's almost like uh, pushing your finger into uh, memory foam, and then it recoils back up. Yeah. It's very cool. So what happens down the end of the line here, John? It's where it gets cut and? Yeah, what we'll do is we go into the line. It's where it gets cut into boards. Boards then go on to a skid where it's packaged and then uh, sent out to our finished goods area before going to our customers. Cool, let's go take a look. All right, let's do that. All right, guys, so now we're down the line. We came off the roller where it was about 400 degrees. It's significantly cooled now. It's being cut to width. This is five quarter by eight stock here. And you can see this edge piece. This is scrap material. One thing I love what Versatech does here, that bin there where that little conveyor belt is kicking off pieces to the side, it's taken these two pieces from each edge, or pieces from each edge, I should say, cutting it up, spitting it out into the bin where it's recycled and put right back into the product line here. So very cool process. 
Let's head down the very end of the line where it's cut to length and packaged for shipment. All right, so the, the product has now been cut to length. You can push it right down the rollers. It's going right onto a pallet down there and out to your local lumber yard, essentially. Right, John? Simple as can be. Simple, Simple as can process. be. Nothing to it. All right. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Build Show Network here, getting a uh, first-hand look at the Versatech trim board extrusion line. Make sure you're following Versatech on Instagram at Versatech Trimboard. Make sure you're following us on Instagram as well at WKP underscore construction. And we'll see you guys here soon on the Build Show Network.